Finally, Brimstone has made it to Holy Dog in Middletown, New York. Woo, baby, the great Glizzy Tour of 2024, baby. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. What's going on, bro? This is my tour. What's this guy doing? It's the Volga Chef, baby. What's oh, going on? Look at it. All right, we made it to Middletown, New York. And I'll be honest, Middletown kind of mid. Okay, reminds me a lot of my hometown, which is also kind of mid, but I love it. Okay, uh, excited to be here today. I'm not sure, you know, when they came on my radar, but they're on the list. They're on the list and they were close enough. And from what I could see on online, they were doing some pretty cool stuff. I think it was like six or seven dogs total on the menu. I just drove by. It's a small place. I believe it's got some immaculate vibes is I believe is what the kids are saying. So we're going to pop in there. Also, we've got a special guest coming on today. The mighty brimstone. Uh, but yeah, let's get in there and see what's going on. Man, I fell in love in Middletown. So like, spoiler alert already, if you're waiting to get my opinion on the dogs, they're fucking incredible. The dogs, the establishment itself, the chef on the grill, like everything about this place, I just, I fell in love with. I mean, there was a line out the door from pretty much the time I showed up until the time I left. You know, for years to come, when people ask me about, you know, where's my favorite dog or my favorite dog establishment, Holy Dog is gonna be right up on top of that list. On top of the whole stop just being fantastic we had a nice group of people come out i even signed a jar of mayonnaise <sighs> you know story of my fucking life i'm still gonna eat it don't think that i'm not look at that good as new nothing the heavy chevy ain't seen before you know what i mean All right, we're starting with the uh, the windshield special here. This is the one that ended up on the windshield. The wind fucking picked up a little bit, took her out, but you know, we're gonna make it work. It's got some onion on there. It's got some kraut on there. I did eat one of the little onions, and I gotta tell you, if, if, the, if the rest of the dog is anything like the onion that I taste, tasted, taste. Uh, I'm already pretty happy, but anyways, let's get into this damn thing. There's nothing to be upset about there. I don't know what's going on with the onion. Honestly, you could put the onions just themselves on a roll. Get the dog out of there. And I'd be happy with that. This is incredible. And did you guys see that fucking griddle in there? When I walked in, that was the first thing I noticed was the griddle. You can tell that that thing has seen some dog. Dude, the whole, like, just walking into the place, you can tell there's some there's some deep history there. I'm not sure when they opened or how long they've been around for, but that griddle could tell some goddamn stories. I don't know if I showed the previous dog like this, and I apologize for that. Not really sure what's going on with this one. There's, like, a meat sauce. This might have been their version of, like, the chili, their chili cheese dog. Uh, there's some peppers, looks like a little salsa, there's some crispy cheese on there. It's got to be their chili cheese dog. Uh, that's the only thing I can think it is. I got a, ch what did I get? I got Chilean, something else, something else, and something else. Okay, I got to start writing these things down so I know what the fuck I'm looking at here. Is this my new favorite dog spot? Is this my new favorite dog spot? Because it's kind of feeling that way. This is so far out of the way to where, anywhere that I would ever be going. It's basically New York, fucking Connecticut, and Massachusetts. Never, I'm never veering this way. Now, I've got a great excuse. And I've only, this is only dog number two. There's still two dogs over there. And I still have to go back in and get two more dogs. And they did have some dog fries on the menu, I believe I saw. So I'm kind of curious as to what all that is about, but holy shit. Another incredible dog right here. We're gonna grab 
the next one. All right, we got a, uh, I don't know what is going on with this one. It's a bacon wrap dog. Some cheese, some meat sauce on there. It kind of looks similar to the uh, the one I just had. Only it's bacon wrap, there's something else going on. I can already tell you that this one right here is probably gonna be the dog of the day. This is probably gonna be my favorite. I'll be honest, let me finish chewing, you fucking slob. I'll be honest, bacon wrap dog um, is great. I'm not talking about this one specifically. I could go without a bacon wrap dog. I know I know a lot of people wrap their dogs in bacon and it's, you know, fucking hooray. Uh, I, just give me the dog. This, this, however, the bacon's working with everything. Whatever else is on this dog, the bacon's working with that. It's not outshining the rest of what's going on with this dog. It's a nice mix into it. I, I think this is gonna be the dog of the day right here. Uh. Oh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. If this was two hours away, I'd still be happy. Two and a half, still be happy. Three, I'll be happy, but it's that's a long, I'd have to saddle up for that trip. All right, let's grab that, I need a drink. Cherry obituary. We always got the LD rocking with us. We rock with LD because they rock with us. Who's pulling in? Is this, is this going to be Brimstone? The mighty Brimstone or somebody? All right, we got some um, avocado on there. I know that much. I know there's some avocado. There's some uh, little sauce on there. Just like a ketchup mayo, it seems like. Get a little spice to it. That's nice. There's some kraut on there. Anything else hiding under this fucking that salsa I got? It's just like a mashed salsa that's been on these couple dogs, but I like I love that. Super vinegary. Probably not my favorite dog out of the bunch. Still a great dog. This dog even though it's not my favorite, is probably better than some of the other favorite dogs that I've had at other stops. So, take that for what it is, all right? And I don't think it's missing anything. I don't think it's lacking anything. It's just after I had those other three, this one just falls under those. And not by much, not by much. All right, let's wrap this thing up. Thoughts, give our thoughts and prayers here. Holy dog in Middletown, holy shit. Is more like, you could call this place holy shit. Okay, because that's the re- <laughs> Oh fuck. That's the reaction that you're gonna have once you start eating these dogs. All the dogs were fantastic, right down to that avocado. I think my favorite on the day, it's, I'll be honest, it's tough to tell. Um, they were all so goddamn good. I'm going three-way tie, actually. Honestly, I'm not picking one today. I'm going three-way tie. And I still haven't had the other two, so. I mean, anything's possible at this point. I'm going three-way tie on that one with the onions, uh, the one with the, the bacon wrap dog, and then the one that had, like, the meat sauce and the, uh, I think it was some papalano. A little papalano on there. It's all you, baby. It's all you. All right. Great Glizzy Tour has made its way to Middletown. Holy dog. We were just inside. I mean, it looks incredible in there. Oh, baby. Let me tell you. It was packed to the gills. Ooh. I'm ready to take these and go off to the hills because these are going to be delicious, nutritious, and I hope they're going to slap. Ooh. Snap, baby. Oh, yeah. From the gills to the hills. Mm. I'll tell you what. That griddle in there, that griddle could tell stories. That griddle's got some stories to tell in there, man. That thing was season baby mm -hmm. all right ready, ready to get to into get these in? baby i'm ready to get into these let's get into all right now i got a danish dog and i got a chicago dog chicago dog one of my favorite dogs in the world they're obviously doing it a little different here you know i i didn't see any spore peppers there's no neon green relish but that doesn't make me a hater baby got me a chili cheese dog ooh, ooh. gotta go with the classic oh, you know yeah I feel like the chili cheese dog, that's a good jump off. Like, if you're doing a good chili cheese dog, oh, get in there, my man. Mm. Oh, shh. Looks good. Come on. Look at this, baby. We gotta get in there. Look at this. Look at that. 
How, how close could we get? Look at that. Oh, oh, was that yours or mine? That's me. Oh, see, see, mine's good. I'm constantly fumbling the glizzy bag. Let's 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 see if we can do this. Oh yeah, brother! Snap into it, baby. Oh, look at that so, cheese look at that too, pork. Huh? Uh, the social media people love that. All right, I gotta mm. get in there too. This mm. is the Chicago. Cheers, baby. I do a little bit of cheese. There we go. Mm. Mm. This is good. Just enough snap. Delicious, nutritious. Mm. I give this an A plus plus, baby. No, oh, I'll tell you what. I put a lot of wieners in my mouth the past couple years. <laughs> and every time it gets better and better. Mm. I'm a I'm a seasoned wiener in my mouther. Oh, it's like that, huh? You know? Oh, it's like that. That's how we do things around this here. This is good, man. This is a it's a fantastic dog. And it, you know what? We were saying in there, it's always the smaller places like this that mm -hmm. are just like they know what they're doing and the line's out the door. Mm -hmm. There's obviously a reason for that, and it's because it's a good goddamn dog. You know, it's always those little places off the beaten path mm -hmm. that, you know, you go in there, and that everybody in town knows. That, listen, I drove two hours for this baby, and, and it is well worth every second of that mm -hmm. trip. Not super active on social media. They don't mm -hmm. have a website. And they don't like, need to be. I think that's the ticket to finding those good places. Mm -hmm. Like, if you can't find out any information, online in the online space it's a place you gotta go to. i don't remember what this other one i got was what's that one southwest southwest ah was it good you're in for a treat brother so southwest now you tried this one before yes sir look look even in the bottom they toast the bun a little bit and that's all that all that seasoning on the bottom of that bun mm. too that's right from that griddle but, oh it passes the scent test Mm. Mm. The wiener's got to smell good before you put it in your mouth. I think that's the that's the ticket. Well, you usually got to wash it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So do they wash their wieners? You got to wash your wiener, all right? Do they wash their wieners? Mm. Mm, that's good. I think this has got like a southwestern chipotle mayo or something going on in mm. there. I yeah. don't know. Does I like that. A southwestern chipotle mayo. Even if that's not what it is, that's what it is now. So what you got? Mm. Oh, I'm excited to yes. see it. Oh. Wow! Okay. Stick it in your mouth, baby. Now maybe I I might have maybe the last one was the Danish. Mm. And this you know the pickles on top threw me off because I saw pickles. I'm thinking Chicago. Mm-hmm. Chicago does a pickle dog, but look at here. That's gotta be Chicago. That's Chicago. That's they're Chicago. in Chicago. And they're not going poppy seed. They're going black sesame seed on this. They're going banana pepper. Stylish. They're doing some pickled chip. Mm -hmm. They got, so this salsa right here, I don't know what's going on with this salsa. It's on here too. But it has, it is on, I think almost every dog that I've gotten. Yeah. That salsa is on and I love it. I'm gonna cheers with yeah, this. I bit this side, so you know I want. Yeah, tip to tip on the cheers mm. there. You always always go, go wiener to wiener. Always go tip to tip with the wieners. You got right? all the jokes, don't you? Right. <laughs> well, you've been doing this long enough. You get all the jokes about that. I've been I've around a lot of wieners for a long time now, so. Mm. That's good. Yeah, that grill, man. That grill should need a lot of meat. meat. And he's doing sliders in there. You think? I think I saw some sort of Philly. Is he mm. doing like a Philly style sausage or mm -hmm. something? Oh my god. He's cracking jokes. He's having a good time. Mm -hmm. That's what I want when I go get dogs, all right? I want good vibes. I've toured all around the country. This is probably in the top 10 best dogs that I've had. Like, for real. Yeah. For real. I'm not even joking. No, I agree with you. I've had, uh, let's see, 20, 40. This is, you know, probably my almost 50th dog spot. Wow. In the past three years. And I, I'm going top five. How the hell are you so skinny? That's it, baby. God damn it. Wiener comes in, wrong. the same kind of shape comes out later. Mm. <laughs> and that's what we do. It's the circle of life. It's that little wiener circle of life. It don't come in from the out. No, out no, no. From the out. No, out from the out. Out from the out. Okay. Yeah. Just making sure. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you know, you are the vulgar chef. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not going to, you know, look, to each their own. Mm. That's fantastic. I should have gotten like five more of these things. Yeah, yeah. I gotta down these things like nobody's business. And usually I'm, you know, I'm a pretty big hater of a place that does a Chicago dog and they don't do it traditionally. Mm -hmm. The rules don't apply here. No. It looks they can good. do whatever they want. They could have just, they could have put chili on top of this and just on the dog and said it was a Chicago dog. And I'd be like, yeah, it is. That's a Chicago dog now. I'm wondering, I'm wondering why they call it Holy Dog. 
Because it's so damn good, it's like a holy experience. It's a holy experience. You eat it, you say, holy shit, that's good. Woo! Go ahead, do it, do it. Go, 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 go. Mm. Oh, ho, ho, ho. So, out of curiosity, out of all these glizzies you've had here today, which is your favorite? I think I gotta go with that Southwestern. Southwestern was pretty slamming. Yeah. I liked both of the ones I had. I think the chili cheese dog one was actually my favorite. Keeping it classic. Yeah, man. You know, that chili was really freaking good. And, uh, you know, it's just like the flavor behavior in that was just amazing. A little taste bud tango on my tongue. You know what I mean? That cheese pull was just ridiculous. For a hot dog? You know, for a hot dog? You don't a see cheese a cheese pull? pull. You don't see a cheese ball on a hot dog. No. We say that for mozzarella sticks and pizza. You never yeah. see that on a dog. That's, no. That's an automatic plus 10 points. That's true. This is like a dirty water dog, but with some class. It's it like, is. It's a classy hooker. It, it, it very you know classy. I mean? it's a very you know, classy hooker. I got to tell you, it was worth it. It uh, was really I, worth it. I think it. it is, dude. I, I am having a holy experience here. It's just like, I'm seeing lights. I'm seeing shapes <laughs> and colors. He's got a good thing going on. Mm -hmm. The people love it. The line's out the door. Yeah. They probably... They're, most of them, are, I would imagine, are, are regulars who show up. Uh, if I was a regular, I'd be here every day. Oh, true. I'd be here every day. Then you'd look more like me. <laughs> That's awesome. The Mighty Brimstone joining us on the Great Glizzy Tour 2024. Our first guest this year. We might not get another one, and that's fine with me. As long as we got Brim here, baby. Having a good time, baby. All Great right. Lizzie Tour 2024. Volga right. Chef, brother. Hit me with it, baby. All right, hey. we'll see you guys at the next stop.